In this video, I'll show you how you can make drag and drop work with your quiz review. Okay, let's get started here. So I got a message from Val Hall for drag and drops that are included in the quiz. How can these be included in the review portion to reflect the right wrong info, similar to how other quiz questions behave? Well, Val, it's uh, it's still one of those things that, that's an issue. Adobe Captivate 9 is definitely an improvement over previous versions of the drag and drop. But the one thing still missing, and hopefully uh, if the folks at Adobe are listening, uh, maybe we can have quiz question drag and drop be a possibility for the next release of Adobe Captivate. Um, let me take you through what I would do. There, there could be other answers. So I want to be very clear that there's, there could be other solutions out there. This is the solution that came to my mind when I was considering your question. So I've created the uh, all the raw elements of a basic drag and drop here. Here you're going to match the uh, uh, leader of each nation with the appropriate country that they're uh, a leader of. So. Uh, let's just do a standard uh, drag and drop here. This is not going to be all that fancy. I'm going to select my draggable items and I'll click next and we'll select our drop targets, hit next. And now we'll just identify the relationship between them. Uh, so we'll select the Mexican president, uh, the prime minister of the United Kingdom and the Prime Minister of my own country, Canada. So there we go, we've got a next button. The reason I put a next button on here, by the way, is just so that in review mode, uh, there won't be a submit there to pause it. So I've just got that next there to take care of that for me. So we're not gonna bother with anything here with the uh, success and failure captions. We'll, uh, we'll just say, Correct, nothing too fancy here, and incorrect. Okay, so let's go to our uh, drag and drop uh, inspector here, and we can make sure that that is visible there. Uh, on success, we'll go with continue, on failure, continue. Um, we've got the failure caption, the success caption. Um, you could do a, a reset or an undo, uh, depending on what you want. But the most important thing is that we want to include this question in the quiz. We'll say it's worth 10 points, that's fine. Add to total, and you know, depending on your LMS, you may want to report those answers as well. Um, let's see here, under format, we want to snap all of these objects because I want the title of the country to display. I'm gonna actually drag them to the bottom right hand corner and anchor them to the bottom right hand corner. And that looks fine. We're also going to add a bit of an effect to my drag objects. We'll use the zoom in effect. I'm kind of partial to that. And we'll uh, select redrag the dropped source in case someone wants to change their mind. Now here's where things are going to be a little bit different. I'm going to add, uh, let's say I'll use a shape here. I'll just use a rectangle. And in this rectangle, uh, we'll just uh, select uh, a different fill here. We'll just go with um, a light blue like that. That's fine. And I'm gonna add some text there. Now in this text, I can simply just write an explanation, much like you would see in the review uh, messages that are available for uh, for other types of uh, final quiz questions. And what I'll do is I'll put my next button just below the submit button here. Let's just make sure those match. There we go. So now we have a message that would be appropriate for uh, a review message. So I'm just going to put some margins on this thing so that text looks good. Actually, I'm not crazy about the blue. Let's make that transparent. 
and we'll change the color to black. So we just have a nice clear message here and we don't need a, there we go. So this, uh, this will explain what the correct answer is and, um, and that should make it fairly clear if someone wishes to review this question. But we don't want it to show up when the user is actually taking this quiz question. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that this object, this uh, smart shape is not visible in output. We're also going to give it a very specific name because we're going to need to know what to call this thing. So we're just going to say review underscore message. And what we need now is we need an advanced action to run on the entry of this slide. And we'll do that from uh, just by clicking somewhere in the scrap area here, go to the properties inspector and on enter, select execute advanced actions. And we don't have any scripts written already, so we'll just create a new advanced action. And what we want is a conditional advanced action, so we're going to make that change. And we'll just call this something like review check. Um, and so this is a really straightforward advanced action. It's not too complicated. It works with a system variable that's built into Captivate that can report on whether the project is in review mode or if it's not in review mode. And that's all we're going to be checking for really. So what we're going to do is if the variable and it's CP in review mode is equal to the literal value of one, then in other words, are we in review mode? Yes. If we're in review mode, we're going to show that review message. If we're not in review mode, we want to make sure that review that review message isn't shown. So I'm going to go else hide review message. So that's basically it. I'm going to save this as an action. We're going to close that, close this window, and now review mode is there. So I think we're pretty much good to go. Uh, let me just double check something here. Um, yeah, so we, we're including this in the quiz. This will contribute to our final quiz score. So let's test this out and see how it works. Uh, we'll just do a preview of the project in, let's just do the regular project. So here we are, there's our drag and drop here. So let's do this wrong. Uh, let's put Enrique Peña Nieto. In Canada, David Cameron is the Prime Minister of Mexico, and Justin Trudeau is the Prime Minister of the UK. Not correct, incorrect. So we'll just click next there. Oh, quiz results. Should have got 10, only got zero. Let's see where I went wrong. I'm gonna click on review quiz. Okay, it's, and now I've got my message here that explains that Enrique should have went with Mexico, David Cameron should have went, uh, you know, the Prime Minister of the UK, Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada. So that is one way around the fact that drag and drop really doesn't have a review mode. You can just create a caption that puts an explanation for your users to read and understand, and then just use a little advanced action to make it visible or not visible, depending on whether the course is in review mode. Guys, if you like the videos that I produce for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful or useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.